We often refer to the ability of cold logic rear door coolers being deployed to every second or third rack. Various examples are described in our cold logic deployment presentation, specifically in a multi-tenant data hall. For those who have not experienced shared rear door cooler cooling, it is understandable to be unfamiliar with how this operates. The science, however, is simple. In line with the cold logic open architecture cooling philosophy, it is about localized air mixing and the ability of each rear door cooler both individually and collectively controlling the whole room environment. Air temperature sensors linked to the cold logic management system, or CMS, ensure that the correct air volume and temperature mixing with the warmer air coming off the adjacent racks meets the room's desired set point. And by constantly monitoring and making minor adjustments, the overall room temperature is maintained to within plus or minus one or two degree Kelvin of the set point. Whilst it is true that to achieve optimum operational efficiency, a rear door cooler per rack is the most effective method, it can still be an effective proposition to deploy in rear door cooler for every second or every third cabinet. The choice of which comes down to a multitude of factors. However, it can be easily explained by describing the choice as optimal energy savings versus initial capital expenditure. In the multi-tenant data hall example, even though it is geared towards a capital expenditure saving, the shared rear door cooler solution is still more energy efficient than traditional cooling methods. We cover this subject in more detail on our Cold Logic Shared Rear Door Cooling White Paper.